Today we shall see how to insert data into MySQL database using jQuery and PHP. jQuery has an Ajax method. We will be using the shortcut that is uh, the post method of jQuery to implement the Ajax Ajaxification of this HTML form and the insertion of user entered values into the MySQL database. I will take an, take a form and give it an ID called my form. See here we have taken post as the method. I'll take an input box and name it as name itself because the user would be entering his or her name in this input box which is a text box the second input box will hold age of the person now the button to submit the data i'll give it an id called sub meaning submit Also, let me take a span here so that I could display some information like the record was inserted or it was, wasn't was inserted. So, this is our HTML form. Now, before that, I'll connect our form that is HTML to the database. If you don't know PHP, please visit the PHP category on our blog that is technotip.com. This is a simple tutorial. You need not know much about PHP here, just the connection. The first line of code is connecting to the SQL server with the username root. We do not have any password, so I have left it empty. Let me run the server first, vamp server. I'll open PHP my admin here. We have a database called test. I'll create a table called user with two fields in it. First one being the name, which is varchar. I'll give the length as 15. Next age, which is an integer, a length of three is okay for me right now. Okay, we have a database called test inside which we have a table called user. Now select the database test and get connected to it. I'll save it as db.php. Now the actual code to save the user entered data into database goes here. Before that, let me connect to the database by including db.php file. So we got connected to the database test. Once the user hit, hits the save button, the name and the age gets passed to this file using post method, which we will store inside a local variable called name. Similarly, for the age, Now write a simple SQL statement that is insertion insert into user is the table name so insert into user values our user table has two values two fields in it namely name and age which we would pass here the user entered name and age Well, I'll wrap this inside a PHP function called MySQL underscore query, which processes this MySQL statement. I'll also check if it was successful. If the execution or the processing of this MySQL statement was successful, I'll say successful, successfully inserted. If not, 
I'll say maybe like uh, something like insertion fail. So these these two things either successfully inserted or insertion failed will be returned to our my script that is the script we would write next. So user hits submit which the user entered values and his name and age would be passed to user info.php which we would collect inside the local variables name and then age and by forming a simple mysql statement we would ex execute it and insert inside the user table now before proceeding let's see how it works on our browser post inside post folder and write techno tip our company has been running for two years now it's a see inserted successfully inserted message comes but the page gets redirected to user info.php which we don't want we want to ajaxify that which means it shouldn't get redirected all the things should appear on the same page that is index.php instantly without reloading the page once the user hits the submit button that is the button which has an id called sub we will call an anonymous function now before inserting user entered values we we want to serialize these data so i'll serialize the data and store it inside a local variable called data so get select our form and its input fields then we have a method called serialize array which formats the input data into value into property and value so then select the file to which we need to pass the user entered data we select the form and its attribute action which has the file name to which we need to pass the user entered data next the serialized data once this data has been sent to this file it returns something which would be stored as info here the output from user info.php after processing so this is user info.php which has this these codings after execution it either tells successfully inserted or failed it should be stored inside info so using this output we need to echo or else okay we would append it to the span tag which has an id called result so dot html i'll append this info variable which has the output of user info.php instead of writing this data i'll just cut this out and paste it here to make it look compact so ultimately you have only one line of code to learn here and an important thing that is once the user hits the submit button it shouldn't get redirected to user info.php file so i'll select my form that is the id of the form inside our index.html and the submit i'll write the function and tell return zero which means don't get redirected to any other pages once the user hits this button which has an id sub that's it now open index.php file satish my name 25 years save successfully inserted look at the database here okay it has been inserted successfully and this file didn't get redirected to some other pages now the fault is name my name and age is still here 
which doesn't make any sense once the user hits the submit button let us clear those fields i'll write a function custom function called clear input select the form that is my form and its input fields all the input fields so loop through each of the input field using each write an anonymous function and tell and then set its value the input box being loop that is being iterated now which is being selected its value should be nothing which makes it clear that is empty now once you write it call this clear input function inside this submit or inside here click so for the click event of the button call clear input let's look at it i'll say shweta 24 over years age save successfully inserted and the box has been clear okay practice this for next videos we will show how to retrieve the data from the database using json that is javascript object notation it would be more interesting and learning insertion and extraction of data from the database would make all the fun and make your applications like desktop application so please share this video with your friends on facebook google plus linkedin twitter etc also email your friends about technotip.com please keep subscribed to technotip.com and to our youtube channel also like this video on youtube